Hi, and welcome to Ye Fit Adventures. My name is Darren Yee, and this channel is about backpacking, cooking, and fitness. So if you like more videos, check out some of these up in the cards. And today, we're going to go over how I make the Tyvek ground sheet for my camp chair. So what we're going to be making today is a Tyvek ground sheet for your chair. It just snugly fits on the corners of each foot, and I'll show you how you, how you make it. So the items that you'll need to make do this project is some duct tape, it can be any color. You need some Tyvek paper, or I'm going to be using Tyvek envelopes. You'll need a pen and some scissors. So first what you're going to do is you're going to open up the Tyvek. Just pull off the gluey, sticky side and open up the envelope. The Tyvek paper is very strong. It's waterproof. And I just opened up this envelope. So what we're going to do next is we're going to measure out with our chair. Is we're going to take our pen and trace the outline of the chair. And then we're going to make about an inch on the sides, which I'll show you. As you can see, I have traced the outline And then I also added tabs at each corner, which will we'll fold over with the duct tape. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to cut out our ground sheet. Once you've done cutting it out, you have something that looks like this. It has tabs on all the corners. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold them in. So the reason for that is this is actually version point two. The first time I did, I didn't have these tabs and I just had the duct tape folded over. Now, if you're 100, 150, 200 pounds, the pressure of that is just gonna stretch out the duct tape and your legs are gonna go straight through. I tested it out on a, my last trip at the beach in the sand. It was good for maybe five, 10 minutes but the pressure of me sitting on the chair just busted through, stretched out that duct tape, and it put holes in the corners. So next, what we're gonna do is gonna reinforce it with some duct tape along the sides, around the perimeter, and then we'll fold up the, over the flaps. So to do this, um, I just got um, some regular duct tape here black, but I only need maybe uh, half of it. We're going to use half of it. So what we're going to do, we're just going to eyeball it, measure it here. And then we're just going to rip half of it. Say one half. Stick it on the side. Like so. And then we're gonna fold it over. Fold it over. This will strengthen the sides as well as prevent from the edges being frayed. We're going to fold the corners over like this, so it'll make kind of like a little pocket. And then we're going to reinforce it, we're going to wrap duct tape around each corner. So 
It makes a little pocket. So you crisscross the two by four inches piece of duct tape around. So it forms a little pocket here for the chair feet feet. Now the paper is overlapped, so it strengthens it even more. But we're gonna even add a little bit more duct tape to reinforce it. Now this piece will be also about four inches. And we're gonna wrap it from the bottom. So from the bottom, do it diagonally ways. Right at the corner, put it across that way. So it's like this. And then we're gonna fold over the tape. Like that. Just like that. So this forms a nice little pocket for your chair feet to go into. All right, so we're gonna just do that for all, all four corners, and we'll be right back. So we completed all the corners. This is a pretty easy project. All you need is Tyvek, some duct tape, a marker, some scissors, and this only weighs one ounce. So the, the ones that you can buy, they're about $20, $30. Um, you can do this for probably under $5. Uh, DIY project if you're kind of crafty, um, you've got some time to kill during the lock, lockdown, the stay at home. Um, it's a pretty easy project you can do. Um, another thing, all chairs are going to be a little bit, the dimensions are going to be a little bit different. So depending on the size of your chair base, it might not fit all the chairs. But here, I'll just show as an example, this is my REI FlexLight Air Chair. Um, so you just stick the feet in to the corners. Be a little snug at first but you want that so that the ground cover stays on All right, there you go you've got your ground sheet securely underneath you it works pretty well it's only an ounce and a couple bucks to make uh, if you have any comments or questions let me know um, I can help you uh, figure out how to make these that's it for my Tyvek DIY ground sheet project. Um, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.